Why'd they kill the kid? Yeah, why'd they kill the kid? Why'd they kill the kid? Hola. Hola. What's up, everybody? We are here to react to Spider-Man Homecoming, The Wire, Season 3, <laughs> Episode 6. 6. This is Homecoming. It is. Who's um, homecoming? The only person who came home is Avon. This is also another very popular title of TV show mm -hmm. episodes. Mm -hmm. Season 1, Episode 15 of Lost. Why homecoming. do you know this? Okay, what else besides <laughs> Lost, sir? Earth kill. It's Earth kill. Earth kill. <laughs> Nope, 100 will never be topped in this naming convention, period. No. Hey, 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 I'm pretty sure they I said a positive thing. I'm pretty sure they <laughs> Usually when I hear 100, it's always a negative, you know, connotation for some people. Yeah. Um, I am excited for this episode. I don't remember what happens. I know that I said season 3, episode 6 was my favorite, but I was wrong. Uh, Avon Barksdale, this is his homecoming, right? I mean, I mean he technically already Yeah, maybe he about to... Start ripping and running. Maybe he's about to go looking for that AK again. You know, maybe he's ready to get back in the streets and, you know, he's going to be all, yeah, yo, baby, you know, man, I've been out here, you know, I've been here, you know. He's trying to find what, Warren? What did he say? Warren. You yeah. went to the AK, try to find, like, Warren? Warren who? Mm -hmm. Warren G? He must have been running them streets. Why do men do this when they talk? Uh, hey. well, you, you know, it's, this right here, this is where your power comes from. Yeah, you warm it yeah. up. Yeah, like, so this, I feel like I'm cold. This is why I do, because I'm cold, you know? If I, I, feel like, I feel like women don't do this. Don't no, know. men That's do it when they're creepy. You're like, yeah, baby. Yeah, like, you're about to blow her lid. Like, Look, <laughs> let me talk to you real quick. If I say, hey, uh, Caddy, would you uh, like to go back to the house for a little bit of afternoon delight? It's not worth it, but if I say, hey, yo, baby. See, huge difference. One of them, instant yes. Immediately. Sure. Hey, yo, baby, this ain't no more acceptance to that, right? You know, you need to make sure you support an OG content out there. You feel me, bro? So, uh, feel free to support the normies over on Patreon. You know, we got uncuts. You get to watch your hair. We got the skits. Hey, yo, hey. So, we about to get this started right here, right? <laughs> Hey, hey, don't forget, follow us on Discord, hey, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok. TikTok. The ticket tick tick tick. Anything you need to do, you do. Up to a body that can't walk yourself out by the emergency room. I'll back up you and your man. Damn. <laughs> Bang him senseless. He literally said, I'll back you up as long as they ain't dead. <laughs> Hell yeah. Man, I ain't even dirt. Got rice and shit. The one about I got rice and shit. Damn. Oh, That's kind of fucked Bro, up. Hold on. These are in the free zone or not the free zone? Not out, of the, out of the free zone there. What the fuck, bro? I'm taking your shoes, like motherfucker. Yeah, go to Hampton, y'all. Fuck you, we America. We America. We America. <laughs> I feel maybe this won't work because they're just like, we're gonna take this problem and put it here. <laughs> oh! Good God, bro. They're little kids. Damn. This is like. Oh! oh! Why? That shit hurt. That's fucking. That, that is absolute brute fucking talent. Yeah, because it got no water. It's oh, even worse. That's so fucking dirty. God. And then no fucking air. Ah! Uh! Y'all assholes for that shit. Up. And they can't even like wipe their. They're hot boxing the pepper spray. Dude. The fuck a horror film are we watching now? What's going on? Right? Why do you always think it's a horror film? Are the they movies? dropping them off? In he no. They can't not. drop off in the Lyme disease. That is Chris. horrifying. Lyme disease. They're you not. Do this. They're this is not. Dirty. This is dirty. They're all blinded to. No. You can't let them go with handcuffs. They're gonna start attacking you. Well, this is how horror movies starts for real. Yep. Like... Chris has to uncuff them all without Still being man. jumped. That little star right there across from the dipper. It's fucked up. That's fucked up. Yo, fuck that. This is why you should be familiar with your astrology. Yeah, fuck all that. This shit's fucked up, bro. Fucking state violence, like the police are just like, no, it's like, we're general operating. <laughs> like, even Carver's like, a decent dude, and he's like, yeah, pepper spray him in there. Like, that's low-key torture, dog. <laughs> and then he quit afterwards. It's just, they don't, they don't treat any perps like humans, really. They just, like, oh, you're a criminal, works. I can They're treat you like heads. shit. You know, the gutting costs, they exceeded our original expectations. Gutting costs went up, huh? That was due to your modifications. He does not like this shit. Why oh, you bring Avon with you? Show him where the money at. Y'all fucked up, so y'all supposed to take the hit, right? Unfortunately, Mr. Barksdale, cost overruns are the nature of the business. Yeah, well, we should discuss this over lunch. Ah, uh, hell no, man. I got elsewhere to be. <laughs> you make me take you to lunch after you just told me you... Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, at first, I said, cost of business, motherfucker. Do your shit right. Stringer Bell is quiet. And if he's quiet, I don't give a fuck if we come back a year from now and find out he's on the Greater Baltimore Committee. <laughs> <laughs> this unit is about the bodies. Come on, Daniels. I mean, it's gotta. Shit rolls downhill, and that's all the, the mayor's talking about. Is, you know. But 
crime rate in the bodies. The string is gonna be untouchable then. Why we ain't at least got a shop set up down the block? It was a setback. Ran our boys off. Who? Just some player, man. Listen. Oh my god, you just came back out of jail. Hey, bro, you chill, bro. You just been out. You don't know the game no more. An independent with no fucking support got all the prime real estate, and we doing what exactly? Keeping our hands clean. Have you yeah. seen the fucking building you living in, motherfucker? Shit. Shit, I had Avon killed instead of Bodie. I mean, uh, D. He's shitty. Does he want that projected power, man? Cedric, maybe we Fuck. Maybe we can not. I don't know. I got Rhonda. <laughs> <laughs> A or the class B uniform and I'm there. That's how it is? Is Game of Thrones out here? Mm-hmm. Appearances only? House of Cards? They were loving House of Cards. Were they? Yeah. At one point, maybe. Yeah, no, definitely not after like season two. I never finished it. Neither did I. Honey! Think about turf, man. It ain't like it was. I mean, you ain't gotta pay no price of buying no corners. Since when do we buy corners? We take corners. Well, let's say get the cops on you! Got that old west mentality, bro. It always runs up eventually. We make so much goddamn straight money, man. Government come after us, man. Ain't shit they could say. Let the youngins worry about how to retail. Just a gangster, yeah, I suppose. Yeah. I mean, who gives a fuck who's standing on what corner? If we taking that shit off the top, look at the paper. Putting that shit to good use, making that shit work for us. Make money, make make money. Mm. Make your money, make you money. Yeah. Could run skyscrapers, bro. You know, I'm just a gangster, I suppose. That's the quote. I'm yep. Of course. Still, bro. Too many different. It's two uh, different mentalities, man. But like, listen, bro. Like you're being stupid as fuck now. Straight right. My husband worked for Mr. Cooper at the American Can. <laughs> he made good money. We saved up and bought this house. There were some white families still living in the neighborhood. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this sweet old lady. A white flag. This is a picture of the house. Oh. Big He's trying to move her. He's such a good yeah. guy. And this is a, this is a good neighborhood, and it's walking distance from your church. She's not leaving her home. Now you say you have a program that can place me somewhere else, but you ain't got no program for what's outside my door. That is, the program. That, is the program. that is the program. Yeah. Take the house, Granny. Y'all act like y'all know stubborn young people. The older you get, the more stubborn you get. Just... Make the package real small in case it's a trap. I hear directly from you on this. I'm on it. Isn't it just a literal matter of time until oh, yeah. shots start popping off? Here. Why would shots pop off though? Because there's, there's so few customers to come uh, here. Yeah, they can legally sell, but they're gonna get shitty towards each other eventually. And Avon's mentality. Yep. So you said that as Cuddy, he gonna work out. You go out, you get Cuddy, and get the best of the rest, and you put a hurt on Marlon. No! You're a fucking stupid oh, asshole, bro. God, Avon's you gotta at, at least discuss it with your partner. I know you don't see eye to eye, but at least discuss that shit. Avon's pissing me off. Even though Stringer did kill your nephew, but still. I mean, but he, but he, he killed his nephew and got something out of it. Whatever, they're both going down, I hope. Oh, I don't know, my bad. Come on, Stringer. I'm still rooting for my boy Stringer. So we need y'all to lay back about four or five blocks. We're gonna hit you on the burner. Y'all hold tight till I call you. We gonna handle our end. You just make sure some fucking root left out there for us. Oh. Cause I don't wanna feel like I'm just some damn decoy. You gonna be the first to I die. I hope he goes the first one to go. Come on, Bunny, where the fuck am I gonna find a house with this old broad? I got one already. It's a foreclosure up on the Hartford Road. All you gotta do, file the emergency petition, my boys will move her in. And she's witnessing against a violent drug crew. Without <laughs> a cooperation, I doubt if it'll go forward. And that's more that line. Look, we just lost a witness in a drug case. We don't want to lose another one so quick. Yeah. Seizing the moment. If Rawls gets wind of this, you forged my signature. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking lie and deny. Cuddy, bro, I had such high hopes for you, no joke. Oh, He's a gangster. What if that crew got look out? Motherfucker, if we waited to be all over time, we get there. Man, bro, look at the plan! Oh my. Fool! Oh, I hate everyone's fucking up so bad. Marlo's gonna hate They're gonna Stringer. die. Marlo's gonna fuck shit up now. Oh, uh, yep. Yeah. This will fail. Marlo will strike back. Yup. All because of dumbass eight months on you. Oh. Do you. Oh. How did they know? He saw him in the car back there. Oh, My man's got the fucking Uzi with the, with the extender on it. What is this? Yeah, I go that motherfucking Nene, man. I said we take it. We should wait for the call. Man, we wait. He gonna get away, man. <gasps> wow. Oh, I absolutely hate this. Y'all about to... There's kid crossing the street. Damn, use the car's cover. Shot across your driveway. That's exactly what they said. Yep, yeah, I knew right he would be the first face. to fucking die. Now, he deserved it. He was a moron. No, y'all can't shoot this one man right 
Go, go, go right away, bro. He's... Where, where was he aiming? Better get little real quick. <gasps> oh. Was that guy even a part of it? Yeah, he was a passenger. Okay. I thought that was the other car that got run into. Bro, can you imagine being a kid being like, oh, I just found a fully loaded Uzi over here. <laughs> they, they didn't even use it. They just dumped their guns and ran. What you gonna do when you sitting at the head of the table? Once you there, you got to hold it down. Sound like one of them good problems. Prison and graveyards. Full of boys who wore the crown. Point is, they boys. It's my turn to wear it now. Wow. Bro, you trying to keep it or what? You heard they go to the... Yeah. Jesus, man. Listen to the old man, bro. He's still alive. Bosses don't give a fuck about Marlo. Him but Marlo ain't getting one, though. He just dropped two of Bobdale's soldiers on the corner of the mountain. Bodies! <laughs> Sorry. All I know is Marlo is flying his own colors. Westside's about to be all Baghdad and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking Avon. That's all they need. They're moving now. What is homicide at? Fuck homicide. I'm asking you for answers right now, Major. Sir, my and men... damn sure have none. My men are out there. Damn! Oh. Oh, Rawls is just an asshole. Mm -hmm. But we know that we can actually tell the man. Like you said, rival gangs. Oh, which gangs? Gangs. Gang on gang. Dude, gang. you are so incompetent. I swear to God. Oh, Major, but we got nothing on it. Gang A versus Gang B. <laughs> it's a math problem. This is really supposed to hamper on Hannah, uh, fucking Amsterdam. They gonna blame Amsterdam. it on Amsterdam too. But that wasn't in Amsterdam though. I know, but they gonna blame it on that. Hey, Jen, you seen that tape I was watching last night? Uh, I don't know what you're talking about. Videotape from last Monday night's council meeting. Kiefer tried to block my resolution, but I laid him out good. Are you watching yourself? Mm-hmm. Maybe you left it in the VCR. <gasps> Ew! He's a bread. Daddy, Frankie shared a sandwich with you. We hid it so no one else could eat it before you came home. <laughs> Damn, you can't be mad at that. You can't, but you really want to. I know. Like, he kept it cool. Fucking kids. Alright, string is fine. No denying that. I feel safe around him. He's so big and strong. You asking to get with string. I'm okay with that. She already did. Everything with D is so messed up, you know? And you know this one police. <laughs> oh, shut the fuck up! <laughs> you might get your throat slit now. No, she's about to clue her in. What do you say? Maybe D'Angelo didn't take, you know. <laughs> Damn, why you try to cause drama, man? He's trying to make some money for all y'all. Fuck that. I want to see some comeuppance for this. I mean, this is her son we're talking about. She don't give a fuck. I didn't say nothing to the man. Just told Stringer is all. Mm -hmm. Donette is cute and annoying. She knows now. Mm-hmm. She's thinking something. Mm-hmm. The city police lieutenant looks good on her. Damn. Who even cares anymore? Half the country are separated. The other True. half are getting divorced for the second time. Yep. <laughs> I mean, they were together for how long married, like, I mean... Calm down. I know, Marquette. <laughs> I know, I can feel Marquette. <laughs> There's some water here if you're thirsty. He's such a triangle. <laughs> she hung in there thinking my career was going to turn into some kind of big D. I probably let her believe it just to keep peace. Now she wants to be the big D. Man, that's bullshit. What do you want? You. I just don't want to disappoint her anymore. Damn. Showing up with some chicken dinner and my wedding ring and dress blues, and being the not even divorced yet husband with the white woman on his own. <laughs> Damn, it's like that. I don't like to be used against once you wrestle counsel. Daniels is pretty loyal to the the everybody he interacts with. Yeah, he is. Two of our people drop and we ain't got shit to show for it. Oh, man, yeah. Bowley's gonna be real heavy on this, man. I Finger say we slow trip. down, take our time to build our muscle. No. Yes. Hey, Vaughn. Hey, gonna work hard, this boy Marlo punking me. What am I look like? You're punking I'm gonna do this shit my damn self. Ugh. Just this minute got home. You trying to go back to jail? He's a gangster, though. You two niggas get on it, man, and get it right. Don't put that fucking gun on my face. Right. Shit. See, I say it had to be handled, man. The game is the fucking game. Yeah. Period. Period. It is, but you had the chance to rise above it. I mean... Stringer is so frustrated. Mm-hmm. I'd be shaking. Avon frustrated too. They both can't. They just can't Yeah, but like... Shit. I know. But I was just Stringer down the way with one of our youngers on Vincent Street, but they got their, you know, the empty houses over there. The cops are just standing around like that shit was legal. That shit was business. Avon was just waiting there to tell them to shut the fuck up. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. What you saying, man? My bougie joke. What's up? <laughs> You daydreaming? Not, man. Not at all. The Barksdale Stringer Alliance is drying up. 
Yeah, B and B. Oh, Bert Bell and Bell. Let me be clear. This is no longer about Stringer Bell or Kintel fucking Williamson or any of them. What is my rank, Detective Griggs? My rank! God level! What is my rank, Detective McNulty? Fuck the bosses. Yeah, look at that. If you can't remember that much, then you can go the hell back to Narcotics. And you can go to whatever the hell unit will still have you. <laughs> Damn. But there are bodies. Bro, I, I will. Man. But the yeah. bodies. But, they have but the bodies. I want to give an appreciation to everyone who's able to walk into an office and get cussed out hey, without flying oh, off the handle. Body, yaddy, 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 yaddy. <laughs> Looking fly with his watch, his neck n tie, n a tie bar. Oh, shut up, Marquetta. It's a tie bar. Does yeah, tie, should I say tie bar? Thank you. <laughs> neck tie. Girl by the name of Tasha got her head blown off in a fire. Jesus. Y'all gonna have to call this one of them uh, cost of doing business things y'all police be talking about all the time. Shoot the way y'all look on things. Ain't no victim to even speak on. Bullshit, boy. No victim? I just came from Tasha's people, remember? All this death, you don't think that ripples out? You don't even know what the fuck I'm talking about. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> mm. I was a few years ahead of you at Edmondson, but I know you remember the neighborhood, how it was. We had some bad boys for real. It wasn't about guns so much as knowing what to do with your hands. Those boys could really rack. Them. <laughs> <laughs> Omar gonna jump. Look. <laughs> My father had me on the street. But like any young man, I wanted to be hard too. So I would turn up at all the house parties where the tough boys hung. Shit, they knew I wasn't one of them. You nerd. <laughs> Hard cases would come up to me and say, go home, school boy, you don't belong here. Didn't realize at the time what they were doing for me. Damn. They're looking out for you, bro. We had us a community. Nobody, no victim, who didn't matter. And now all we got is bodies and predatory motherfuckers like you. <laughs> I saw kids acting like Omar, calling you by name, glorifying your ass. Makes me sick, motherfucker, how far we done fell. Damn. Damn. This, is, this is really good. This is really good. Just chewing that fucking cigar. It's crazy. Like, they, <laughs> they really did come it. from the same community, went to the same schools. Aww. Damn, that was a loogie. And he cried a little hey, bit, too, man. Oh, oh. That was so like The hood's Shakespeare, and I love it. That shit resonated with Omar. Mm hmm. I'm the one that could risk walking up to these thieving bitches with cash in hand. The people running the city nowadays, they make the last bunch look sanctified. I mean, this is some shameful shit. Look You're him. shameful! Stringer's breathing, man. He's just shitty. Look at him. You're shameful. I mean, think about the people above him, how shameful they are. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. <laughs> but Stringer's shitty as fuck. Arms come when? Monday. Latest. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. But good call on that breathing, Chris. He's been breathing like that a lot the last couple yeah, of Yeah, he's episodes. been breathing super heavy because he's, he's getting pressy shit. Went through his nose and shit. Like his chest is just it's like... Boom. Boom. Yo, I know that nigga, man. Oh, he ready. Oh. He ready for some payback. <laughs> <laughs> that shit ain't say it like that. That shit said like she want to get pregnant and shit. This is Nick Cannon dude about to get dusted. Damn, bro. <gasps> oh! Why'd they kill the kid? Yeah, why'd they kill the kid? Why'd they kill the kid? Yeah, why did you bro. do this? He thought he had a weapon. What? And you let. Open up too early, man. Stop doing your shot. <gasps> you can't your shot, get us in there! You had like 10 seconds to make that shot. What makes you think this is doable? One, I hear the mayor's got problems in his base and with key supporters. Two, I got the police commissioner. And three, Tony Gray from the 5th district comes pretty close to telling me he's thinking about a run for mayor. That had split the black vote. Damn, he's smart. He's still leader player. Ooh, he ain't right. No, he ain't. But at this point, with you on the other side of the argument, he'd rather be wrong. <laughs> Damn. Maybe if the word came down from on high. Uh-oh. Hey! Don't go and disrespect him like that. Oh my god. Lieutenant, Man. I went to... If your friend Bunny Colvin oh. his ass in mine. Yeah. You know, when you're pulling him a nut, take all that off he can get. Chain of command my ass. Always going over anything people's heads. Back or anything like Die. that. <laughs> right? Kima! She's Kima. just planting the seed. Has Kima been home in the last month? No. <laughs> <laughs> Literally a bad show to either one of them inside. Of just a phone call that she hung up on. You're at 260 for the year. Jeez. It's barely October. We see 300 before the new year, and I'm not sure that I can justify a full term for you. 
Ooh. I hate to say it, but there it is. Man, this man's put his line, his ass on the line for you all. And, and Burrell. I feel like, bad for Burrell. Burrell. I don't feel bad for Burrell. Why he, not? He gets what he gets. He does the same shit. He keeps taking all the shit and he... They all do the same shit. It all runs all down hill, bro. Shit gets <laughs> it. All rolls down. You're willing to backdoor your lieutenant like this, huh? Always. You ain't changed, Jimmy. It's always about your case, huh? But you can. Oh my god. In a regular cop show, we'd be commending the main character for doing this, no. but he's done this so many times that it feels wrong. <laughs> Where does McNulty's loyalty lie? It's like to the job. The case. Yep. Cutty. You got one out of two Cutty. Of motherfuckers, you know? Cutty. You mean you motherfuckers come strolling in here all walking tall and shit? You'll be out, man. I'm saying, man, we was blazing on them dudes, man. You know what I'm saying? Just got in the heat, man. We was blazing. <laughs> Relax, man. We're <laughs> <laughs> blazing. Well, my man fought, man. I unloaded on the younger too soon, man. I fucked that shit up myself, you know. Hold on. Good team player right there. Yeah, now nah, he's gonna come clean, bro. I had that kid in my sights, close enough to take off his Kango and half his dome with it. Couldn't squeeze the trigger. Mm. Why not? Been not too long. Wasn't in me, I guess. Whatever it is in you that lets you flow like you flow, it ain't in me no more. You just killed yourself right there, bro. I'm gonna pop you. Be honest. Use you for what you got in your head. We're gonna put you on a corner. You could be inside. Oh, man, I ain't making myself clear. The game ain't in me no more. None of it. Now you, now you dropping it. Yeah, he's gonna get dropped. They already done had a homecoming for you and everything. Mm -hmm. He gonna get dropped. Hey, what well, they spend a couple hundred on my man, maybe a thousand. Be all right. But you ain't done shit else. You know what I'm saying? So what you gonna do? But it can't be this. Got them puppy eyes. They are very effective. Right. We straight. Right, it's like, I doubt it. He gonna get popped. It's not like he's gonna snitch any or anything, but I mean. He gonna get popped. He was a man at this time, you know? Yeah. He a man today. He a man. Damn. Oh Damn. shit, okay. I love that fucking scene. It's so fucking awesome. Okay, Avon. <laughs> I love that, man. It took him It took him staring down that little shit in his sights and he couldn't do it. I, that's so good. Lieutenant? Ah, uh, McNulty, why are you like this? Here he is. Oh, he knows. Cedric <laughs> Daniels to the rescue. Man of the hour. Shut up, you should say it. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's hilarious. At that point, there were bodies, so, you know, Daniels was just taking it personally and not wanting to pursue it, right? Yeah, so I mean, he can't get... He just, McNulty's a good cop, bro, but he don't listen. But, he don't. but they're bodies. Like, Daniel should've listened. I mean, he should've. And oh, Stringer's gonna be in smoke months from now when they, when they do finally decide to go after him. There are bodies now. The proof is there. In the pudding. Yeah. There's a link between Marlo, Stringer, Marlo's crew just dropped some of, some of the Barksdale gang. Like, there's... There is motive to pursue this now. Yeah. So, so this is about the evidence for Springer. I think that's what Daniels was holding, like more concrete to say that Springer was directly. Nah, I don't even think so, man. He was on some like, am I the what? What rank am I? And then like God level. Yeah, <laughs> Kima said it, but McDonald's like. Yeah, he's okay. like he needs to be grounded. You know, go to your room and like learn about like literally. <laughs> so I mean, his motto is before he said he's like fuck the bosses. Yeah. Fuck you too, Lester. I, I can't believe I get this chain of command shit coming out of you. Like, Minotti does not believe in that. I don't know what he believes in. Like, I know he wants Stringer because he's pissed off, but like, it's not even for like the greater good. I mean, he knows it's good. He's just good police. Yeah. He wants he's like go after it, but like he's. Like, what does McNulty believe in, bro? I feel like... Bottle of Jameson and... Going to bad guys. I went after bad guys. I, I mean, but there are, like, so many bad guys, and I know that he's, like, up to one of them, but, like, it... He kind of takes it personally, where it's, like, not about the job, really, but it's just about him, like, catching a prey. Yeah. And I just... Like, why doesn't he go after Prop Joe? Like, he goes after Stringer. Like, he's excited that he was with Marlo, but he's not excited about the fact that maybe now he can get, like, the connection and get more criminals to, like... Uh, arrested. He's still focused just on Stringer. He's like, I'm gonna get him to jail. You know? <laughs> I mean, like, when he, he has, like, out. passed by Marlowe without even, like, you know, taking... Like, his his only reason for noticing Marlowe is that it incriminates Stringer. 
I wonder if even if they did get Stringer, what he would do next. Would he go up to Marlowe? You know what I mean? I think at that point he's done with that chase. No, bro. He he's a cop. It's next to the next chase. Stringer's been. I don't know about it. I don't know about he's it. had his eyes set on Stringer for how long? He needs yeah, to get yeah, that I get you on the, it's on to the next chase, but like, who's the next chase? So, so you know how they're saying like, Burrell has or there's 260 murders in, yeah. right now. I was looking up murders in like violent cities last night, like randomly. Huh. Uh, Baltimore is number four. Indianapolis is number ten. We made the top ten, guys. What did we how, just say? How many for Baltimore and Indy? Uh, I'm like, surprised. Oh, um, it was like tw- like uh, uh, right. Baltimore is like at the really? fifty-one we percent like of murder. So out of like one hundred percent, like other crime. Whatever. So what do you got? Detroit. Florida. We're at F. We're at F. Like Who's the top. Uh, number one is Detroit. Yeah. Uh, Detroit last one's Detroit. Dallas, Texas, but like Chicago's one, Denver's one. Denver? They legalized in Denver. They got shit in Denver? Talk about. Y'all can legalize marijuana. Denver. It's not going to stop crap. Y'all got mountains and fucking <laughs> Albuquerque. And shit. Obviously, yeah. we know about Albuquerque, y'all. I, I figured Albuquerque, okay, Albuquerque is pretty but good. But guys, Indianapolis made the top 10. I'm just saying. Well, a lot New, York, of New York is not in it, by the way. We're the, the crossroads 25. of America, man. It's easy to run shit in and out of yeah. here. Listen. Yeah. I know you guys are just now living in the top 10 city area, but I lived in the murder <laughs> capital in the 90s, okay? So we were number one, so like, I mean, Excuse me, I was born one. in Queens, New York. Well, uh, no, the murder capital, no, baby. no, no, New York is not in the top 10, at t- top 25. No. Not, no, New York, none of New York is in the top yeah. 25. So, New York is safe, actually. Um, Damn. I think maybe just... That's insane. There's a lot of people in New York. That's what I'm saying. Per, per capita, yeah. like, like the percentage per capita. is not... Equal to that top ten, but New York still has a lot of crime. Yeah, it has, yeah, I'm not saying right crime. now. Yeah. Wait, did LA make it? Because that would make sense if LA yeah, and New York didn't make definitely. it. Definitely. LA, no, it's Oakland, uh, Oakland. California. Oh, okay. The the, the city is where you're most likely to be a victim of violent crimes in the United States. These are top twenty-five. Well, yeah. I, Come visit. To, um. get, to keep talking <laughs> about uh, Stringer, I want to talk about Donette. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, she she kind of let it loose, mm-hmm. a little hint, and now. Uh, what's in D's mom? Yeah, she, she's gonna follow that little string there. Now that string. she know, yeah, yeah, she knows Stringer was aware that the cops were inquiring about it not being mm-hmm. a suicide, and Stringer said nothing about it. That yeah, that's shady. Is telling you everything you need to know right there. Right. String is sus. Yeah, string is sus. I was also gonna comment that um, a character like McNulty, who has kind of had one singular goal for shit, two seasons, three seasons plus seven episodes would usually be boring in any other show. Yeah. But like, my man stays interesting, even though he's like, like his character, he hasn't even had a character arc, really. In fact, his character arc was drinking too much, <laughs> off the case, on the boat, drinking, and then he got, he was like, oh, no, now I'm like working this other case, and like I'm doing this other thing, and I'm getting good, and now he's like, I'm back on the focus on string, he's not drinking and shit right now, at least. But good like, for him. I, I liked Petty season two. Uh, McNulty when he was just like trying to figure out <laughs> when he learned fucking nautical geometry yeah. and just to <laughs> put 14 bodies on roll <laughs> so my man opened up a textbook um, <laughs> only for that reason yeah no I mean I just send a string like Don- I mean I'm glad Don- Donette said something D needs redemption he yeah. needs justice just justice, justice. Um, um, what do you guys think of the scene with Omar and the whole community speech that was dope. There's some good dialogue scenes in this whole episode. That was one of them, for sure. Yeah. Kids out here cosplaying as Omar. That can't be good. And that, it looked like it hit him pretty hard. I mean, he, he's, 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 he's got, he's got like a code. You know what I mean? Oh man, gotta have, yeah, a, gotta code. have a code. Yeah. So him hearing that, bro, bro, look to his eyes. Seeing Bump lose is cool. Also, like he straight up went to the the old man to like intimidate him. And like he's supposed to, he he. I think he thinks of himself as like the Robin Hood. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like he's just taking from the uh, from the drug dealers. But like there he was harassing a random person who was just talking to the police. Who is he know. harassing? Uh, the, the bruiser. The bruiser. The old yeah. uh, the old wino, the drunk kid yeah. that Bunk was talking to when Landsman rolled up and pulled out and was like. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's where he got all his information because he was an eyewitness, and then he went to Tasha's family after that. And Omar tracked him down and yeah. intimidated him. I mean, Omar's got to look out for himself, too. Uh, there's no good guys on this show. Let's just go ahead and throw that out there. Daniels! Um, no, he did some shade shit back, apparently. I don't even know what Daniels did. Yeah. Rhonda! That's... Okay. that's water under guys. the bridge. Water under the bridge. You over here, you willing to forgive Daniels for anything. Listen here, Lance Freddy. <laughs> you stay away. You were in one night in Miami, and she got super excited. Stay away. Let's get Lance Reddick for a podcast. <laughs> he, he, oh, he, oh my God! I, but he was such a dick in the one 
one night in Miami. He was. That, I didn't know I appreciate that. that. Well, you get, get your shit together, guys. I think um, he is a good guy, though. Like, saying by his, like, what, ex-separated wife, whatever, now. And, like, you know, she was there for him. He got to be there for her. Yeah. In a yeah, way. I guess. He's, he's but, being but it's kind of shitty that she was like, well, I thought you were going to go somewhere with your career. Now that you're not, we're done. But still, that's, that's let that. me use you as arm candy. Yep. He's got a lot of, like, patience and... It's nice that he's doing that for her, but I, I wouldn't have. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I mean, but, but he explained he, it. Yeah. Like, that she kind of, like, sacrificed her career for him. And he just kind of led her on, knowing that that's not what he wanted. So, like, now he feels like he owes that time to her. And I feel like it's easy to change what you want. He probably did want that at a certain point. And then as you yeah. keep doing what you're doing, you're like, well, look, I'm a better cop than I am at climbing the ladder. Yeah. Yeah. He's climbing the ladder, you gotta do all this shady shit all the time. Uh, I respect him for his choice. I don't know that I could do it, but also you see in this episode, literally that choice bite him right back in the ass mm-hmm. when McNulty turns around and did the thing that McNulty has consistently done. And like, he's about to get ragged the fuck out now. And he's like, every single time something like that happens, he's gotta put a sour taste in his mouth just to remind him that, like, in a way, she was kind of right because like she was like this job don't love you like you love this job but it does not love you and even mcnulty and him who have an understanding between the two of them mcnulty was willing to be like fuck him why'd you go why'd you go talk to but fuck him because that's why like yeah. man of the hour there he is here's the guy all right <laughs> it took him all of like he in, i like that keem was like into the whole mcnulty thing too yeah keem is just she's not worse because she put that idea in mcnulty's head Kima yeah, had well, showered in 14 days. So I'm <laughs> confident of that. She instigated him, but McNulty is his own man. He made his own choice. Yeah. What about Bub selling them whiteies? That's, 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 that's I'm happy for Bubs. I hope he actually stays on the straight path, but he tried to do this before, so... Yeah. Would you buy a white tee from somebody on the streets like that? Oh, yeah. yeah. I bet they're fucking cheap, too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like for your kids and stuff or something? Like if there was like a pack? Oh. Yeah, I mean, he's buying fresh ones. Yeah, because yeah. he just knows that they're gonna throw him away, so he's like, I'll, I'll keep more of them on hand. Yeah. Marquette, so you aren't familiar with um, the Franchise Boys, but I'll introduce. Oh you. yeah, the Franchise Boys. They have a song yep. called yep. "In, in my, my White Tee." So. Jansen has a good remix to that too. Shut the fuck up. He does. He all, he literally always wears a white tee. It's his thing. I don't want to hear. It. <laughs> it's true. Um, I re- have major respect for Cuddy quitting the game. Um, I hope nothing bad happens to him for quitting. I hope like Avon respects that as well. Oh, he, That's a hell of a scene. Him saying he was a man. Yeah. He's yeah. Quit. He's quit. I'll, I was actually surprised that Avon respected that, but then he won't respect of actually involving the actual game. Like, get off the fucking guns and focus on the money. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he he also like, he's like, wait, he's okay, on, I, but he evolved because, like, you know, one guy gave up the hood rat shit, but he evolved over that, but he won't give up. Well, because it's not for Avon, but also, like, Cuddy having a boss, like, stand up to Avon, who is the man. Stand up to Avon, who could get him killed with a snap of his fingers. Like, in the room, yeah. be like, he had an out. When Charles was like, when uh, some Charles was like, yeah, like, that was on me. Like, Cuddy could have, he could have been quiet about it. He could have did, like, he could have took the weaker route to get out by not, like, confronting him. But, like, he was like, nah, man, like, I'm about to stand here and, like, speak my truth to you. Like, speaking truth to power of whatever. But, like, he's talking to, like, the one dude who could get him murdered. And it's like, that's, I mean, it's respectful. He did it in a respectful way and he talked to him. It was just, you know, two It's minutes. unfortunate and Haler kid had to die for him to realize that. Yeah. yeah. Haler kid it's all that jail lot. time did something, though, because, I mean, he, he, he hit that woman in the face. He, they beat the shit out of that guy last episode, mm-hmm. but trying to actually clap the fool that even disrespected him in the first place. Mm-hmm. Stole from him. The fact that he couldn't shows that and he did learn from his time there. And I think Avon only said he's a man because of the time he spent time he spent and he's he was a past soldier so yeah. he'd already kind of earned his stripes and he saw like a man that literally can't do this anymore he spoke to him you know straight from the heart it looked like I don't know. Yeah. It, it, was, it was cool to, to see that that was really cool yeah. i hope i hope we don't see cuddy again I, he just I hope, yeah, goes I think, off into the wind no i'm pretty sure we'll see happily him ever after i think they will let him go just because i think that the way this kind of like divorce happened was very honest yeah and like i don't i don't think that the only reason why avon would go after him is that he would be afraid that he'd snitch but you don't that's not the person that you'd be worried about yeah yeah yeah. 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 he doesn't he doesn't give that air you know what i mean not do that so He's uh um, he's like omar he's like one of them like ethereal like figures from the streets he's like i gotta go he's like man got a date I don't know. <laughs> like, even the young kids are making fun of him because he's so, like, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't, uh, like that, the fucking young dude, 
any of the young dudes that got shot, those little motherfuckers, like, I wouldn't trust any of them if they was like, ah, you know, like, because they not like Cuddy. Like, Cuddy seems like he's got, like, a, I don't know, like, a solid cornerstone. The mother dudes are just like, I'm going to get shot in the face because I can't follow simple orders. <laughs> <laughs> that guy. R.I.P. R.I.P. But Avon... Man, come on, dude. I know Avon. I over get here. it. You're not about the business thing. But He's just a gangster, I suppose. But you can't be a gangster without gangster. the business. You gotta have the money to be the gangster. He's just a gangster. Right. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen to Avon. I feel like Stringer and him are gonna have like a shootout in the end. Yeah. I mean, for him, it's like about the display of power more than like having the money. Like, yeah. The money. Like he wants to show it off on his, like in his way. Is he like Daniels? He doesn't want to climb the ladder. He'd rather yeah, stay I where guess. he is. I guess. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, honestly, yeah, because like with um, with uh, like when um, Stringer was talking to him, he's like, yeah, you could. He's like, you know, once you get to a certain level, he's like, we could run this whole city. Like, and that was not a bullshit claim. Like, oh, yeah. it was a factual claim. They could just be. There's so much real estate. Actually running the city, and he's like, nah, man, I don't want that. He's like, I just, I want my folks to know. It's like with course. uh, with Bar um. Uh, Marla, when he was like, when the dude was like, man, everybody that wore that crown is either in prison or dead. And he's like, yeah, but they got to wear it though. Yeah. And like, I think that that's what it is for Avon. Cause he's not like, he don't have an exit plan. He's like, I'm gonna do this shit. And that's it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he's a graveyard prison. That's it for me. Why string is like, I'm trying to fuck around and run for <laughs> mayor of the town in 10 years or something. Apparently Marla's got some firepower too. Mm -hmm. I don't know. He, he didn't bat an eye at all that his, his dudes were attacked. Well, he didn't lose anybody, but still, he was just like, all right, this shows how weak they are. Yeah. But they Cuddy can't better even pull still. off a hit correctly. Mm -hmm. yeah. I mean, I know Cuddy's out of the game, but you better be careful of Marlo still. Uh, I think the guy who, uh, who he saved made back for Cuddy, because he even, the guy who he saved was like, oh man, I could have died right here, but he just. Uh, fruit? Him. Yeah, fruit. Fucking oh. fruit. Yeah, I think fruit, fruit would probably like Damn, back for Cuddy. Right. Like, cause uh, you know, Fruit Fru knew he was gonna die right there, but when when he let him go, Fruit was like, all right, you know. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, Fruit's gonna be like, bro, we're coming for you, Cuddy. I would say, I would far Cuddy, I would move now. <laughs> uh, I think Fruit gets the thingy. I don't think he would. Mm. Yeah. Hey, look, man. I'll, to shift over to Carcetti. <laughs> yeah, he's a little weasel snake, but I mean, he's. He's kind of playing everybody, but not. He's just kind of using what's happening to his advantage, too. Like, the dude he's playing racquetball with is thinking about running for mayor. He didn't even have to say it out loud to him. But mm -hmm. Kerkedi's immediately like, ooh, that's going to split the black vote. That'll make it possible for me to get elected. He's, he's thinking ahead. He's, he's, yeah. he's playing five steps ahead. Listening. He, he does like to watch himself on the VCR, but... Uh, that is me. That is fucking yeah. uh, Like, yeah, comes yeah, yeah. home. He's fucking like, yeah. This is He's crazy. like, Corey, we gotta watch this uncut that I filmed earlier today. <laughs> <laughs> I had a couple of hella good one hours. I would, oh See, god, I'd like, vomit. Every time we go to our videos, I like pause it immediately and I just like scroll through the comments real quick. Like, I don't watch any of our videos actually. No, I come I, home I like. Skits. Babe, you gotta see this line I did at 2647, this time code. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, banana dick, and everyone laughs and she has no context. <laughs> <laughs> um. Man, yeah, no, uh, great episode. Also, I, I think, for me, I really do like season two, and I like season one a lot. But, like, I like season three a ton, and, like, season four is coming, and I'm just really excited. I guess what I'm saying is that I, I This like is a good I like show. The last season sucks. I miss the stevedores. Yeah. Um, because they were your people? Mm -hmm. Sabaka. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he was just so grunty all the time. I miss the guy. Yeah. Well. Anyway, I have to go to the bathroom. Yeah, it's eleven forty. We gotta get out of here. Yeah. All right, y'all. We're gonna catch you with some more wire. We're gonna do another binge. Spidey will be joining us back. He is currently not feeling well, but it's all good. You know, he's gonna bounce back. He's a soldier. Bye. 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 Thanks for watching The Wire with the Normies. Check us out on Patreon for early access and uncut content. Special shout out to our super patrons, Doppelganger, Old Man the Oilmonger, Kwasi, Sakif, Clayton, Harry McFan, Exploring Dylan, Dane, Mr. Momus, Joe, Yusuf, Kadim, ZJP, and Keyboard Junkie. And we'll see you all next time.